sends a question or an objection. And she says that I want to learn a sport and have a male teacher because there is no other option right now. The problem is I don't know how a woman is to enter a male-dominated field if we can't learn from a man. I think women teachers of sports and physical fitness are just as important as female doctors. To deny women the education, we let certain fields remain male-dominated, stopping more women from learning. Now, this objection of Amina is not a very sound objection because Sharia law, the Islamic law, is crystal clear. The boundaries are there and found. Scholars have placed legal maxims or fiqhi rules that governs the whole of what people need. So if someone comes and says that men are dominating certain fields th more than women, the answer would be in the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, وَلَيْسَ ذَكَرُكَ الْأُنْثَى Male is not like a female. So th this is it, period. Allah Azza wa had pointed out this scientific fact, this global fact, call it whatever you want. But this is a fact. Men have their own fields, women have their own fields. Now, maybe you, you will find some males coming in the future and saying that, listen, women have been dominating the field of uh, pregnancy for so long. Now, we males should move up uh, to the task and maybe get pregnant or whatever. Is this logical? Allah Azza wa created men and women different. And each were appointed with tasks and obligations different than the others. So to come and say, no, I'd like to do what a man does. For a woman to say that, this is unacceptable. Now, let's look at a male doctor serving females or treating female patients. What is the ruling on that? In the absence of female doctors, this becomes permissible because Islam does not promote killing yourself. So you have to get treatment and there's no other alternative except a male doctor. In this case, he may uh, uh, look at you, he may touch you, he may do what is necessary to cure your illness with what Allah has uh, given him with knowledge only in that specific or designated area. Now, is a male doctor equivalent in treating females to a coach training a female? Definitely not. Is sport something that is essential and if you don't learn it, you want to die and you want to compete and uh, enter uh, uh, such fields that are dominated by men? You want to learn boxing, for example? You want to uh, uh, learn MMA? Is this uh, something that a female would learn? Or you want to go pro football? or soccer, or basketball. All of this is not the field of a woman. It's not a necessity, including that it has embedded in it a lot of evil. Sports for women is okay. A woman can play sports. A woman can uh, do something to recreate herself, providing that she's totally segregated and isolated for, from men. They cannot even look at her. She is to be in an all-female situation, no problem. She goes to a club that is uh, all uh, females, no problem in that. But she has to be selective with the sports she's engaging in. So she says, I'd like to um, pr maybe swim in a sw swimming suit. No, this is exposing your aura. You can't do this. Maybe if you wear proper clothes, yes, you can swim. If she wants to do something that is haram, such as boxing, it's haram for both men and women, and so on. So the fields are many, and you can learn as much as you want. But to make haram things halal, and justifying this because we would like to enter a field that is dominated by men, definitely this has nothing to do with Islam, and it's totally prohibited.